Every gamer has experienced the joy of beating records and unlocking achievements, but for some gamers, simply beating these records is not enough of a challenge. They want to set records which will be simply impossible for other gamers to beat in order to ensure their gaming legacy for decades to come. Which is why we've compiled a list of 10 video game world records that are impossible to beat. Before we dig into these impossible world records, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay up to date with fresh content from the gamer. Number 10. Longest Minecraft Marathon Any gamer who's played Minecraft, whether on a computer or console, is guilty of logging a ridiculous amount of hours into the game. Between survival mode and creative mode, the game itself is somewhat addictive since days pass so quickly and there's only so much a player can accomplish in one day. Due to the popularity of Minecraft, there have been numerous records set within the Minecraft world from the largest real-world place built in Minecraft to the most views for a dedicated Minecraft channel. With that, it's no surprise fans of the franchise set out to create and beat records on a regular basis. One such record is the longest Minecraft marathon. To add a bit of clout to this record, it's also recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records. In order to officially beat this record, a player would have to call out the professionals to witness their gameplay. In October 2015, gamer Joseph Kelly set out to set the record for the longest Minecraft marathon. His attempt was not solely for bragging rights either. Joseph Kelly ran his marathon while raising money for cancer research. In his quest to set an impossible record, he played for 35 hours, 35 minutes, and 35 seconds in total. He must really love the number 35. Number 9. Most F-Words in a Video Game Every gamer knows that there are basically two types of games, one for children and one for adults. In mature games, the gameplay can show risque behavior, criminal acts, and certain levels of violence. This is far different from the often cartoonish portrayal of violence in children's games. Of course, along with racier themes comes more mature language. At this point, it's pretty much a given in any video game meant for adults. Since the Grand Theft Auto series is one of the most popular adult-oriented video games, it pretty much goes without saying that the language in this game is not meant for children. One would think that this game would be the record holder for the most F-words uttered in a video game, which would be incorrect. In fact, the game which holds the record for the most F-words used in game is Mafia 2. The game manages to drop the F-bomb a record number of 397 times throughout the game, which is about a 12-hour play session total, which comes out to about an average of one F-bomb every two minutes. Whether or not this is what the game developers set out to do, that's an impressive amount of F-bombs per minute. Number 8. World's Largest Arcade Machine Back before home gaming consoles and computer games, the arcade was the place to hang out on a Friday night, playing video games with friends. While the days of arcades are on the decline, some gamers have given in to the nostalgia and have taken up collecting or creating their very own arcade machines for home use. While creating an arcade machine for home use isn't the most difficult task, it does take a gamer that's dedicated to seeing the process through correctly. In fact, there are many online resources regarding the restoration and building of these iconic machines. But what if a gamer wants to take their arcade machine to the next level? Jason Camberis from Chicago set out to make the arcade machine to end all arcade machines. No, he didn't want to run an epic remake of Frogger. He finished construction on his machine in 2015, and it turned out to be 4.41 meters tall and 1.06 meters deep. To put things into perspective, the machine is slightly larger than a full-grown African elephant. Size wasn't the only thing that mattered to Jason Camberis, however, and it's rumored his arcade machine can play over 200 classic games, which should keep him busy for hours. Number 7. Longest Mario Kart Marathon the Mario Kart series is a ridiculously fun franchise for gamers of every age. By now, nearly every gamer has sat behind the wheel of a go-kart in hopes of taking out Bowser and Princess Peach and then go on to win the race. Who isn't guilty of playing multiple hours of Mario Kart at any given time? It's an easy, fun game which is borderline addictive. But how many gamers would be capable of playing a Mario Kart marathon for several days straight? Only the truly dedicated for certain, especially when you consider the grueling race on Rainbow Road. Harry Twyford, Josh Alexander, Matt Smith, and James Hickman from Australia took on the challenge of playing the Mario Kart series to set the record for longest Mario Kart marathon session. Between July 4th and 5th of 2014, the four gamers played 35 hours and 45 minutes of Mario Kart. Their gameplay wasn't just for bragging rights either. 
The gamers were raising money for Peter's Project, a local charity which raised money for an integrated cancer center in Warrnambool. While playing games and setting records is fun, doing so for charity is definitely a noble quest. Thankfully, the gamers managed to set their impressive record while doing some good for the community. Number 6. Fastest Survival Mode Completion of Battlefront it's no surprise that Star Wars Battlefront attained the levels of popularity it did. After all, the Star Wars film franchise is one of the most beloved film franchises of all time, and the level of merchandising that comes out of the Star Wars franchise? <laughs> it's unreal. There have, of course, been multiple games set in the world of Star Wars over the years. From Knights of the Old Republic to LEGO Star Wars, some games have been well-received while others were lacking in execution. Star Wars Battlefront, however, was definitely well-received by fans of the franchise, and with popularity comes the drive to set records. Liam Thompson and Jake Thompson from the United Kingdom set out to set the record for the fastest time completing survival mode in Star Wars Battlefront. But they decided to take it one step further and set this record without using blasters at all. Seems pretty impossible, right? The duo did manage to accomplish what they set out to do, which is ridiculously impressive considering that blasters are somewhat essential to gameplay. In 10 minutes and 24 seconds, they managed to complete the map for Rebel Depot. That's a lot of pistol whipping. Number 5. Best-Selling Video Game of All Time Most gamers may think that a game from the Mario franchise or the Call of Duty series would be one of the best-selling video games of all time, but that would be incorrect. While many games have a ton of popularity amongst gamers, there are few that come close to this best-selling game of all time. So, which game could possibly hold the record for several years straight? Tetris. That's correct. The simple puzzle game, which was first released in 1984 for the Commodore 64 and the IBM PC, later released on the Game Boy, is the best-selling video game of all time and, even in 2017, still maintains that record with relative ease. In spite of superior graphics and gameplay being released since 1984, Tetris manages to continue to top the charts. Whether it's simple nostalgia or the fact that Tetris has proven beneficial for cognitive abilities, this game is still a fan favorite. Since its initial release, it's estimated that Tetris has sold over 495 million copies worldwide. This can only be helped by the fact that Tetris is not only an older game, but it's available across multiple platforms as well. To put things into perspective, the only game which comes close to beating Tetris' sales record is Minecraft at about 122 million copies sold. That's a lot of blocks! Number 4. Most Difficult Super Mario Maker Level For decades, gamers of all ages have been stomping and jumping their way through preconceived Mario levels created by the same developers at Nintendo. While this is suitable for most gamers who would rather play the game than build it, some gamers have been itching to get their hands on a Mario title which allowed them to create their own levels. Luckily for those gamers, Nintendo released Super Mario Maker in 2015 for the Wii U and a version for the 3DS in 2016. Players who had been waiting for the chance to create their own Mario levels had been satiated by this release. And it wasn't long before these gamers were seeing who could create the most grueling levels possible. Enter Alex Tan and his level Pit of Panga. P-Break, Pit of Panga, U-Break, and Pangea Panga, collectively. This game level is so difficult it was recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as being the most difficult level created in Super Mario Maker. In fact, the level has been attempted 4,088,347 times, with only 279 attempts being played to completion. That's about a completion rate of 0.007%. With rates such as those, completing the level is an impossible record to beat in and of itself. Number 3. Largest Real-World Location in Minecraft by now, every gamer, no matter what their genre of choice, is well aware of the popularity of Minecraft. With so many options when it comes to gameplay, there truly is something for everyone. Most impressive are the structures some players manage to build within the Minecraft universe. Ranging from intricate fantasy structures to replicas of real-world locations, the time and effort players put into constructing the landscape in Minecraft is certainly impressive and shows an almost obsessive level of attention to detail. One such structure in Minecraft is so impressive it holds a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest real-world place created in Minecraft. In September of 2014, Ordnance Survey released a map of Britain, surrounding islands included, created by Joseph Braybrook. 
The area is made up of 83 billion blocks, which represents 224,000 square kilometers or 86,500 square miles. While the entire area is quite expansive and impressive, it unfortunately is nothing more than a map. If a player wanted to beat this record, it could be possible by building a scale replica of Britain players could actually explore instead of Britain in map form, or creating a map of a larger landmass like the Americas. Number 2. Highest Score in E.T. Also one of the biggest video game flops of all time, Atari released E.T. the Extraterrestrial for the Atari 2600 in 1982 following the success of the film by the same name. Originally highly positive reviews hailed E.T. as the first of many film tie-in video games which would change the video game industry as a whole, and it very nearly did, but not in the way people expected. In fact, it's been credited as almost killing the home video game industry entirely. Most complaints about the game arose from the impossible controls and E.T.'s ability to become trapped in random holes for all eternity. In the end, Atari found themselves with way too many copies of a game no one really wanted and, as every gamer knows, these extra copies found themselves being buried deep in the desert for everyone to attempt to forget. That being said, Glenn Case holds the record for the highest score in E.T. the Extraterrestrial with a score of 1,058,399 points. Since no one really enjoyed the game or holds functioning copies of it outside of hardcore collectors, it's safe to say Mr. Case's record is probably impossible to beat. Racking up that many points in an annoying game is definitely impressive. Number 1. Longest Halo Marathon Halo has been a staple of the Xbox since 2001, and it's no surprise this series has maintained popularity amongst gamers since then. Due to its popularity, there are numerous records held by gamers in the Halo franchise. Some of these records include fastest speedruns, most wins in under 3 minutes, and most kills in a single game, to name just a few. One impressive record was the longest Halo marathon, originally set in 2011. Four ridiculously dedicated gamers from Ireland decided they wanted to break the record for longest first-person shooter marathon gameplay. At Athlone's Golden Island Shopping Center, the four managed to do just that, playing Halo Reach for around 42 hours straight. Of course, they thought their record was unbeatable, and until 2015, it seemingly went unchallenged. In 2015, Finnish gamer Pavo Niskala set out to beat their record with the release of Halo 5 Guardians. Niskala played Halo 1 through 3 on Heroic, Halo 4 and 5 on Legendary, and Halo 5 Multiplayer. In total, his Halo run amounted to 50 hours, 4 minutes, and 17 seconds of gameplay, effectively beating the first record by about 8 hours, give or take. Only time will tell if any gamer is brave enough to challenge his current record. Have you ever tried to set an impossible record in a video game? Which record do you think you could easily beat? Let us know in the comments, and as always, don't forget to check out our playlist. Thanks for watching!